best way to prepare the skin before I shave. Um, we have to go back to understanding the skin. Remember this, heat is going to provide um, more elasticity, that the skin is going to be more relaxed, and the pores are going to be open. So preparing the skin is very crucial for a shave. So you have to start with putting like a hot towel or, or a steamer on the face. And then after you do that, then you have to use a facial wash or a cleansing gel to wash the surface of the face. And then after that, you move to the pre-shave oil and the shaving cream and choosing the, the right blade and, and the right uh, handle, for, uh, the right handle for the, for the shave that you're doing. Let me tell you a little bit about the purposes of the, of the uh, products that I use. The facial wash, the facial wash is very important because you do not want to work with a dirty surface. So you have to cleanse the face first. So you use a facial wash which is very gentle and it's going to rebalance the pH of the skin because when the pH of the skin is not balanced then you're going to end it up that the skin becomes tight, it's not going to absorb the product or it's going to reject the product. So you have to make sure that the pH is balanced. So that's why you use a, a facial wash that rebalances the pH. The second product that I use is the pre-shave oil. And basically the um, molecule of the oil, it's way too big. It's way too big and it's an oil-based product versus the shaving cream, it's a water-based product. So they do not mix together. And then actually they offer um, double protection for the skin. So the, the, um, the pre-shave oil has a molecule that is way too big for the skin to absorb and it stays on the surface of the skin. So when you put the blade on it, it's gonna glide. It's like putting water over a surface, it becomes more slippery. So that is actually the purpose of the pre-shave oil. And then we move to the, um, to the shaving cream. The shaving cream has a, an ingredient, the ones that I, use, that I use have glycerin and glycerin is a natural humectant that is gonna swell the hair. So when the hair becomes swell, you can actually cut it more. Uh, think about it like this, like um, when you put water into a tree that you're gonna cut. Uh, if you wet it down and the tree absorbs the water, then when you actually hit it with the axe, it's not gonna bounce back. That is basically the same philosophy. Now we take it back to shaving. When the hair swells, then the, um, the feather blades are gonna actually be, it's gonna be easier for, for, the, for the feather blade to cut and that's why um, I use the uh, pre-shave oil, the facial wash, and the shaving cream. This one is it's one of the products that I use, and I'll tell you why I use it. Because when, when you work with products, for example, a moisturizer or you have a clay mask, you need to even out the porosity of the face. Uh, why is that important? So that way, once again, the product is gonna be absorbed evenly. So when you use this before the mask, then the skin is gonna absorb the mask evenly through the entire face, not just on one area versus the others. This one also uh, swells the hair, and once again, that's why we use glycerin, that's why we use the, the shaving cream, so make sure that you use this product before you put the shaving cream, uh, so that hairs will swell even more. So this is like expanding the cuticle of the hair, so that the product is gonna go into the hair and it's gonna swell it. That's basically what I, what I use this one for. And also, this is very important for the, for the nape area. Uh, for example, if you have to, to do a shape on the nape area or a lineup. The last thing that you wanna do is create like a razor burn because you're putting, you're putting too much pressure or you're not rebalancing the pH of the, of the skin here and here. So by using this product, you can actually do it uh, without putting pre-shave oil or without putting shaving cream because this is like three things in one. So this is very handy. I mean, this is something that you must have.